Yo. Welcome to another Synfig tutorial and today we are going to talk about converters. Now converters are a way to um, automatically to perform certain actions on objects automatically. So if we should go to the Synfig documents, uh, documentations page, we can see uh, a whole list of all the converters that is within Synfig. Now there are, there are lots of them, lots and lots of them. I'm not going to go through each and every one of these. I'm just going to show you how they work. And then you can basically explore all the other options. Okay. So I'm going to add an object to the scene, a simple circle. Uh, let me delete one of these. Do that. Okay. So here we have a circle. Now to add a converter to this, just go into its properties and decide which one of its parameters you want to add a, a converter to. So for example, here we have the opacity, which lowers and increases the opacity of the object, right? Now, let's go ahead and add a converter to this. So right click, convert, and we can see the list of converters. Now, the, the one that a lot of people like to play around with is the random converter. Um, so what this does is it, whatever value, whatever property you place it on, it randomizes that value. So if I should click random and click on play, we can see that the opacity is randomly um, coming in and out, right? It's randomly playing around with the opacity. We can also put the convert, well, we can put the converter on pretty much anything. So for, let's say we have the origin here and we know that the origin um, has to do with the position of the object on the canvas. So if I right click, click on convert and click random, it will now move the object randomly within the space as well as, you know, its, its opacity is being lowered and increasing at the same time. So that's how converters work right to automate different well i don't want to use the word automate automated but it's it does certain things automatically for you although that could be automated but anyway um yeah but the the ones that i use the most um are the integer and the the grade now the great the way the work the grade works is um let's say for example I don't want to move this object when I click on this point right here, right? You can right. Oh, by the way, this is another way to add converters. You can right click on any of the points on your object and you will see the convert, the convert menu. So if I should click convert and go to grade, we see that now if I left click and drag, I'm not able to move my object anymore, but we can still move the ones that aren't grayed out. So what the grade do, the grade does is it actually makes this point null and void, so I can't move it, right? And we can apply it to any one of these that we want. Okay, so now this this one and this one is locked into place, and I'm unable to move it. All right, um, and I use the integer whenever I'm adding whenever I'm adding controls to objects, right? And you can watch my um my controllers tutorial to see how that works i didn't really explain how it works um in detail but you can get an idea of how i used the integer in that tutorial and you can apply it to any one of these um, now of course as i stated earlier there are more than one converters um, if you should apply a converter on a property that already has a converter it will just override the previous converter so if I should right click this and click uh, scale, for example, it would override um, the previous converter. And each converter has its own properties, right? So for the scale converter, we only see a link and a scalar property, right? And um, now scale in this sense doesn't mean uh, to scale up or down an object, right? If you apply it on the origin, it would just affect its movement. So if I should increase the, the scalar value, let's increase this by maybe 10. 
Okay, and now it disappeared. Okay, so it moved it all the way up here. All right, so yeah, so in this sense, it would just move. Scale would mean be uh, would mean to to move the object um, within the space here. All right, that's if you apply the scale to the origin property. You just use that value to move the object, and that's pretty much how converters work. Right. Uh, I hope you learned something here, and um, I will see you in the next tutorial. Yo, Tim Hardy.